so I'm here with Andrew Morton from the AE Regeneration Initiative. Uh, Andrew, do you want to introduce yourself? What are you doing here in AE? Well, I coordinate the AE Regeneration Initiative. I'm also head of the UNEP program for AE. Mm -hmm. What's a typical day for you looking like here in Porto Plus? Uh, meetings, meetings, and meetings. Um, generally, we have a team here which is uh, pretty autonomous. It runs itself. My role is development of this program, uh, meeting all the stakeholders, government, donors, implementers, locals, private sector, to get an idea of who the players, what are they doing, what do they want, and then try to put that together in terms of project designs, programs. And uh, if I'm lucky, my typical day is that I'm not here, I'm down in the south in the countryside, working on projects. And my understanding is you're not only working on energy, but we are focusing on energy in this project. So what role do you think energy plays in the overall reconstruction efforts and the development of, of, of Haiti? What role does energy play? Yeah. Well, I reframe it in terms of uh, at the moment for overall development. Is actually a constraint for our world development. Uh, Haiti is energy poor, extremely energy poor in many ways. It has very low access to electricity. What there is is unreliable and high cost. Uh, there are very few other options for fossil fuels, expensive inputs. You have um, extremely high use of uh, biomass, basically trees cut for charcoal stoves. That's about 80% of the energy in the whole country is actually all about uh, cutting down trees using in stoves and um, we have as a result a lot of environmental degradation and terminal problems on deforestation, erosion and uh, damaged uh, river catchments which has other impacts such as really damaged the marine environment so the whole energy cycle here is quite negative, quite destructive and it's, it's probably the sort of single most cross-cutting issues other than agriculture in the whole country. And what, what role do you think renewable energies can play in it? What's the role of energy efficiency? Do we need an integrated approach? Which renewable energies do you think have the most potential? Well, they all have a role. We start at the very front end, which is energy efficiency. Energy, Haiti does not use its energy efficiently. Extremely from three stoke fires and basic stoves through to poor quality uh, vehicles, through to extremely expensive uh, diesel power generation rather than more efficient turbines and uh, actual very inefficient use. So we have uh, high consumption, inappropriate air conditioners, buildings which aren't built for the hot climate or built well for the hot climate and appliances which consume far more energy. Given that uh, the average Haitian is paying sometimes four times what the USA citizen would for energy, you can't afford to waste that. So you start with energy efficiency. Is that in absolute terms, uh, the price they're paying, or yeah, in relation terms. to what? Absolute terms. I mean, at, in some US states, people get their power, so to speak, for like 7 cents a kilowatt, and here they pay 42, so six times. And if you talk about what the cost to use a, a torch or a candle, it's about 400 times compared. So it's extremely expensive energy for the average poor Haitian. So bringing the cost down is, is part of the package. So renewable energies, they have their place uh, simply because at present most of Haiti is run on imported fossil fuels and a couple of hydro plants which are at their capacity may have a little bit more to go. We need basically more disseminated power and we need renewables given that we're in the Caribbean, very high solar radiation and reasonable potential is clear, potential for renewables. So, but it's not simple to insert renewable energy projects into a post-crisis unstable state. So there's a lot of challenges in getting these projects running. If you, final question, focus in a little bit on the renewable energies. Um, we have wind, we have solar, we have biomass. What role would each technology play in your, under the condition that the money can be brought in? Yeah. What role would each technology play? Well, there's a routine, almost proven technology role for small-scale solar everywhere off the grid, because the grid is not going to be anywhere, everywhere in the country, even in 50 years' time. It's mountainous, disseminated rural areas. A lot of people, their consumption is too low to really warrant connection to a conventional grid. So solar-charged appliances, mobile phone chargers, lamps, that's just a, 
straightforward application. Uh, the other main renewable that's not really uh, exploited well at the moment is wind. Now, I know there's some issues with firm power, having to be balanced up and wind's not going, not working, but we have negligible uh, installed capacity here. Uh, so I'm sure it can be balanced up with some fairly significant amounts. Hydro power has, it's maybe exploited further, but it's going to have its cap. It's got, uh, it's got its limits. Biomass, difficult, but uh, given it's part of the destructive cycle of energy at the moment, solving that is as much a sustainability uh, agricultural problem as it is an energy issue. But even then, we're talking about more efficient uh, states can cut costs. At the moment, the cost of charcoal, for example, is equivalent, sometimes more, than LPG, bottled LPG in many countries. So, uh, in renewables, or at least cleaner fuels, uh, can actually be cheaper. So you see a role for LPG as well? Yes, I see a firm role, uh, because the Haitian culture has a very big component of cooking basic foods, and you need stoves. And uh, in fact, there's a large portion of the population who doesn't have kitchens, they live off the street restaurants, for example. And they are essentially 10,000 fast food restaurants, and they should work with something like LPG, as an example. Great, thank you, Andrew. This was Andrew Morton from the Haiti Regeneration Initiative. And uh, we're just looking forward very much to cooperating with you uh, and, and moving the, the energy agenda forward in Haiti. Thanks very much. Thank you. For working together.